before I get into this, I just want to give a quick word of warning to any newcomers to the channel or any people who haven't seen anything from my question arcs playthrough that I do use the pachinko sprites. So if you're one of those people who has a stick up their ass about what sprites people use, chances are these videos aren't going to be for you and no amount of complaints in the comments is going to change that. But with that out of the way, welcome back everyone to Umineko. It's been a hot minute and I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been feeling the itch. I've been wanting to get back to this so badly. I know I said I was going to wait for uh, Total Eclipse to come out, but I'm not going to lie. My excitement to get back to Umineko has just totally overshadowed my excitement to get into Total Eclipse. Like, man, I've been missing this. I, I want, I need this. I need the conclusion. I need it. I, I just, I can't, I can't dedicate myself to a bigger project until I get this done. I just can't. My mind won't allow it. I, like this last month especially it's just been it's been at the forefront of my mind man I just really really want to get back into this so yeah we're back uh, so in the previous uh, at the end of fuck how I want to say this at the end of the question arcs all right so we had the tea party which was Badler and Beatrice having their little back and forth their blue and reds we had the moment then we had the question mark event with uh, burn and lambda where Lambda Sanchez said that all of Badler's theories were bullshit. Well, most of them. She didn't say all of them. She said that most of them. And then she picked out a few of his theories and complete and tore into those. So now, we're getting ready for the fifth episode. I know what people love to hear a lot about are theories. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have any at this point. Like, I had some theories I was holding on to pretty strongly throughout episode four. But it was right there at the end. When it was either Beatrice shutting something down in the tea party or Lambda shutting something down during the question mark event, I really have nothing to go on right now. Nothing solid anyway, alright? The most suspicious person in my eyes is Kirie, but I, I, like I said, I got nothing concrete. I mean, just nothing I can really point to and be like, yeah, that right there. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. So yeah, episode 5 is apparently like the last one where I'm going to get like a lot of information. From what I've heard from people, this seems to be like the make it or break it episode. Either If I'm going to figure it out, this is the episode I'm going to figure everything out with. If not, then I'm not. <laughs> That's the general impression I've got from yo know, people in the comments, people online. You know, if, I, if I'm going to solve it, this is where it's going to happen. I haven't heard a whole lot about episode 6. Like, no one really talks about it. I... Like, I'm, just, I'm assuming if it was like a bad episode, it'd be talked about a bit more, but yeah, no, I don't really hear a lot about it. I've heard a lot of good about episode 7, it seems that's a big fan favorite, everyone loves it. And then episode 8 apparently is pretty divisive, a lot, I see a lot of people talk shit on it, a lot of people dunk on it quite often. But I've also seen a fair number of people come to its defense, show it some praise, so, you know, I'm very interested to see how that one plays out. But yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, and others, start. Episode 5, baby. End of the Golden Witch. Ho ho. Good morning. Please enjoy this new game by a new game master at your leisure. However, the game has already reached a climax. The culprit has been cornered, and there's nothing left to do but await the final checkmate. But, for that very reason, there must be something for you to spot looking down on it from afar. The difficulty is fairly easy. What could possibly deceive you after all this time? You'd be surprised how much of an idiot I can be, game. You would be surprised. No, excuse me. The story is very obviously fictional and fantastic in nature, and it resembles to existing individuals, organizations, locations, or incidents is entirely coincidental. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. What you got for me? I'm hyped. Let's go. Oh, okay. Is it? ね。ほら、ほら。目をつむらずにちゃんと見ろよ。ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら。魔法だよ。家具だよ。そなたがどんなに我々や魔法の存在を否定しようとも。<laughs> okay, so what? We're going like through. We're going through like some of the endings or like. 
is this just kind of like a quick recap, I guess, of like shit that's gone down previously? <laughs> okay. Yeah. That lonely tone was the desolate sound of the wind blowing by. The glittering rose petals on these bushes were all golden. The cloud of gold butterflies that had once danced through this golden rose garden like fluttering rose petals was no longer anywhere to be seen. The master of the golden land is the golden witch, Beatrice. She might be called inhumane and cruel, arrogant and outrageous, or perhaps naive and simple. That laugh of hers, which lost its grace more and more the longer it continued, could no longer be heard. The golden witch, Beatrice, sat like a doll, resting in a dick chair, adorned as beautifully as the golden rose garden itself. She wasn't relaxing there. Her eyes were empty. She didn't respond to any questions. Even so, she was not permitted to sleep. Beatrice sat like a doll. Her hair was down, and Virgilia was carefully tending to it with a comb. The usual Beato would surely have spent this time complaining about this and that regarding her hairstyle. However, she made no response, showed no reaction. So it really only looked like Virgilia was combing the golden hair of a large doll. There was a table alongside them. On it sat a chessboard, along with a jumble of black and white pieces locked in a closely fought battle. However, this setup looked somehow different from normal chess. Maybe the game was similar, though not identical. And on the other side, sitting back in his chair as he contemplated his next move, was a young man. No, perhaps it wasn't his next move he contemplated. Every once in a while he would change the positions of the pieces, reconsidering the situation after every change. Maybe he was reconstructing previous games, trying to discover the thought process behind the moves that had been made. In the past, Kinzo, the Shiromi family head, once said that learning chessboard arrangements was like taking a journey through the thoughts of the old masters. The Shiromi battler was on a journey. A search for the thought process that had led the Golden Witch to create this arrangement and make these moves. Battler took a black piece that should have been moved forward and returned it to its original place, sighing deeply. Battler's pieces were white. However, on this chessboard, the black encampment was on Battler's side. Ah, I see. Spun it around, of course. He was reconstructing that arrangement, trying to play Beato's role. Even Battler didn't expect that Beato would respond to that statement. Or rather, he was pretending to talk to himself, thinking there might still be some chance of her responding. I'm digging hair down Beatrice. I I don't like the fact that, you know, she's all empty inside. That's not really, you know, that nice. But, you know, that long hair, I fucks with it. Beato's eyes reflected nothing. And her mouth told nothing. After begging him to kill her, the Golden Witch had become a corpse that had given up on life. She wasn't sleeping. She couldn't step down from this game and was therefore forbidden sleep. So those words must have reached her ears. However, they probably hadn't reached her heart. The Golden Witch would not sneer at Battler's moves, nor would she praise them or belittle them. By now, Beatrice was nothing more than a living doll. Even so, she would glance at him every once in a while. It would be an empty glance, but a glance nonetheless. Sometimes she would seem to make some sort of gesture, or even move her lips. However, her movements never managed to communicate anything to Battler. どうやったらこの局面でこの差し手になるわけだ。わけがわからねえんだよ。お前の差し手はよ。ベアとバトラ君が話しかけていますよ。なんとか言えよ。<笑> 
クスクスとかゲラゲラとかいつもの黄色い笑いでいいから<笑> Can you believe it? That shrill laugh of Beato's will never be heard again. However, even if she couldn't answer, his voice surely reached her. That was what ba Battler believed as he said these words. So he said it again. Fragilia answered in her disciple's stead. Up to this point, she had done her best to avoid speaking for Beato. After all, there was a chance that Beato would respond in some way, and Fragilia didn't want to be the one to steal that chance. So Battler was going to have to bear with the silence. Until Beato herself answered. Virgilia could no longer bear to watch Battler like this. Besides, Battler also wanted to hear what Virgilia had to say. He believed that conversation would reach Beato's heart. Ah, sappari da na. Beato no tachiba ni natte. Kouste koma o ugokaseba ugokasu hodo ni. Wakara na kunare. A serial murder following an epitaph. With that as a victory condition, I tried reconstructing the games from the witch's side. But I never ended up making the moves Beato did. In those games, I could find several incomprehensible moves that clearly worked against that victory condition. Kill me. Let me die. I mean, she didn't say let her die peacefully. So she said, "What is it?" Beto's right ankle was bound with a heavy, cold steel shackle. It wasn't tied to anything, so it didn't restrict her movement. However, it symbolized restriction. It was a visualization of the bonds that prevented her from leaving the game until she either won or lost. And the shackle was probably hurting her. The mercilessly cold shackle tormented her over and over inside her waking dream. So there was never any sign of relief in her empty expression. Her eyelids would sometimes tremble like she was having a nightmare, and every once in a while she would let out a pained gasp. Unless I win, Beato will never be released from the curse that prevents her from sleeping peacefully. Do what? Why should I take part in any game unless Beato is my opponent? That's the only alternative, and it's a much better use of my time to reconstruct previous games while taking a journey in search of Beato's thought process. Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, yay. Yeah, me? No, no, I object. <laughs> yeah, I've got nothing but objections. Beato was lying down on a deck chair, almost as though she was sleeping. However, she wasn't sleeping. And she wasn't awake either. She was nothing more than a living doll that had given up on victory, who had asked Battler to perform her last rites, and who had surrendered everything. Of course, if everyone just sat around, the next game, the fifth game, would never be made ready. So Lambda Delta had succeeded Beato as the next game master and announced that she'd prepare the next game. Nanda, 
俺とベアトを無視して勝手に話を進めるんじゃねえ落ち着きなさいよ確かにプレイヤーが変われば察しても変わるあんたにとっては戸惑うことも多いかもしれないけどそれでも大きなヒントになりうるでしょうん知らねえよ<笑>勝手なこと言って仕切ってんじゃねえベアとのゲームを4つも繰り返して何もわからないでしょならプレイヤーが変わるのは大きなヒントになると思うけれど<笑>大きなお世話だ So this is just the game's way of saying, hey, you better be fucking paying close attention because you're gonna get some big fucking hints this time. Kore wa Beato ga yoi shi. Ore o taisen aite ni shite shita. Ore doko kara wa aite kita no ka mo shire nai o maera ni kaki maa sarere no wa gomen da. Nara, Beato o okoshite. Tsugi no junbi o sasete. Dekiru? Be... Beato wa shibaraku oki ne yo. Sore ni, atarashi game nante hitsuyo ne. あいつがこれまでに出題してきた4つのゲームの譜面だけで十分だ仮に第5のゲームがあるとしてもそれはベアトが出題し俺に挑むものだけで十分だお前らには何の関係もないバドラー couldn't hide his frustration his irritation at the two witches called Lambda Delta and Burncastle who had shown up well after the game start and who were now trying to take charge on their own It looked like these witches were of an even higher rank than Beato. So high, in fact, that Beato's teacher, Virgilia, couldn't even come close. Badler had the feeling he'd seen these two several times before. However, this was the first time he'd known their names and spoken to them directly. Beato, don't let me go. I don't have to prepare for the next game. That's why I'm going to prepare for the next game. We're the ones who are... いつ正気を取り戻すかもわからないベアトにいつまでも付き合ってられるほど気が長くないのねベルン退屈はごめんなの<笑>イライラするほどにお前が退屈だろうが俺たちは知ったことじゃねえ<笑>まあまあこのパーフェクトなラムダデルタ様に任せなさい No 私がゲームマスターを引き継ぐ Don't wanna. 大丈夫よあんまり絶対完璧にはプレイしないわよベアトっぽくわけのわかんないフェイクや尻尾ボーナスヒントをいっぱい用意してあげる<笑>ボーナスヒントベアトの世界をより理解するための大きなヒントにしてあげるわよ<笑><笑> Letting my voiceless emotions explode I slammed the table hard The two witches didn't flinch at all One grinned The other looked indifferent, as though nothing had happened. Yeah, I wonder which is which. The two of them just stared at me silently, as though they were reproaching me. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say. Hmm... It's like a senpai. This game is a major game. It's a human being. It's a human being. It's a human being. If I go, I'll be a game for a game. But I'll leave the brother of a senpai. 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 Ugh, the man's sister again. That's, that's rude. When Brancastle mentioned Angie, Badler's expression changes instantly. Yeah, I'm sure. あなたが自らそれを捨ててエンジェの無限の未来すべてを不幸なものに確定するのもまた私には一興だけれども I vaguely understood what she was saying Until I win in Beato's game I'll remain trapped in this bizarre world And if I abandon that victory then most certainly my parents and I will never return to Angie For Angie's sake even though I know that the witches are toying with me I must keep on fighting Hey, 
なにその不満そうな顔自分の妹をグズグズのひき肉にされた怒りもう忘れちゃったのプチプチブチブチ無数の焼けたペンチで引きちぎって細切れにしていくあの光景<笑>今度はちゃんと真正面で見ないとダメフェミカスはポイントのパルムを左手に入れて She did a pale light gathered there. Some kind of blue glowing crystal appeared there. A scene was reflected on its sharp surface. But it wasn't the scene that surrounded them now. If you look deep into that crystal, that fragment, then you would probably learn what was reflected on there. If you stared at it, then you'd surely see the end Angie finally reached. After waiting 12 years and giving up everything for the sake of her beloved brother. The scene of her death throes as her entire body was torn to bits while she still lived. Without thinking, he grabbed at her collar. But as soon as he touched that which made up her form, it disappeared like foam on the waves. Then, as naturally as though she'd been there from the beginning, Brinkostel was leaning against a distant wall. Oh shit, she's actually smiling. It's crazy. Adler's fist shook with anger. But even if he swung them down, he wouldn't be able to hit Burncastle. This witch was like a phantom, or a cat who wouldn't even let someone pet her if she didn't wish for it. And she was telling the truth. For Angie's sake, I can't step down from this fight. Even if these unpleasant witches hijack the game board. さすがベル。脅し方もえぐいわね。そういうことよ、バトラ。あんたにはゲームを降りることなんて許されてないの。あんたもペアとも私たちの退屈を紛らわせるゲーム版のゴマでしかない。<笑> あんたのそのわけのわかんない怒りやイラつきさえも私たちには退屈を紛らわす最高のお菓子。まあ、その程度の怒りじゃ駄菓子程度だけどね。30円で2枚入ってるカレー味のポテトせんべい程度ね。What a specific example. Oh god. That's the first time I've seen her laughing sprite. That's that's a I don't know, man. That's, that's, that's weird to see. That's just, no, I'm not used to that. Like, I know we saw the one CG at the end of episode 4 where she and Lambda were laughing together, but... Ugh. That sprite's kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. So... <laughs> In a way, that was admonishing, or perhaps babying. Like the headache you get after eating something too sweet. Burncastle tormented Badler and smiled. By now, the host of this tea party, Beato, was absent. The guest witches were already making themselves at home. What ちょいなさいよ。魔女の駒にして遊ばれるなんてもうごめんなんでしょ。ベルの駒は辛いわよ。きっとあんたもエンジェみたいに使い捨てにされるわよ。あなたに降りる選択肢は与えてない。妹の
Those witches knew I would get mad easily, and they're trying to take advantage of that. Badler withstood it all, and finally relaxed his clenched fists. <laughs> Even though Badler acknowledged his fifth game, he turned his back on them. Much to Lambert Delta's surprise. Yeah. <laughs> そうじゃないと、不先輩になってし、何をする。私が作る渾身のエピソード<笑> <笑>ラムが。マヌケなバトラじゃなくて、私がプレイヤーだと、あ、<laughs> <laughs> <笑>大丈夫だっては、私そういうのの空気は読める方なのよ。ちゃんとベアトっぽい世界観でもっと面白い物語に仕上げてみせたわ。バトラも休憩終わったら早く戻ってくるのよ。見逃すともったいないわよ